Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and have ourselves a drink. Big news. I'm listening. What do you got? Critics and parents agree. Paw Patrol, the mighty movie, is hilarious, action-packed, and fun for the whole family. How do you like me now? That's what I'm talking about. Paw Patrol, the mighty movie, rated PG, now streaming on Paramount+. Plus. All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of November the 20th, 2023. Brian and Michaela here with you this week. And Michaela, this week here in the United States, at least, is uh, Thanksgiving week. So it's a, it's a week to reflect on the things that you're thankful for um, in this life. We are thankful here on Drink the Movies that we're going to be talking about some movies coming up again this month. It's been a long time, uh, like four months, I think. We've been off for movies. We've got movies coming uh, back this way for everyone. But how are you doing? Uh, how are your Thanksgiving plans sh shaping up? Uh, how, 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 how's it going? It's everything's going swimmingly. Um, we are in the throes of figuring out the menu for the week. Um, I, I don't know if anybody knows, but, um, I love food. Uh, it's probably like my second favorite thing. So any, any opportunity to pair food with cocktails or, or some sort of alcoholic beverages, uh, is good with me. Um, I'm really excited. I'm going to be home, which will be nice. Um, I'm going to put the fire on because it's now cold enough to, to have a cozy fire. And, uh, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's been pretty good. Uh, and speaking of movies, finally got to go and see some of these movies that have come out, right? Uh, my son saw the Marvels, um, that he, he actually, he said he really loved, um, Trolls Band Together came out. Uh, can't wait to see that with you. We're going to, find some sugary shot drink and pair it on drink the movies. I, I know it's going to happen. Um, <laughs> mm. it, it's going to be your favorite thing ever. <laughs> it, it happened. One, it happened once before I got roped into uh, doing some uh, shots to talk about trolls. That was in a previous episode. Uh, yeah. Uh, went out and saw the Marvels uh, here uh, this past week. You were traveling for work. So I actually went with your uh, husband and, and son. We went and saw that. It was pretty good. Pretty good time. Um, and then just this past weekend, we had trolls band together. Uh, came out along with the Hunger Games, Ballad of Songs and Snakes. Uh, you're promising people trolls. I'm uh, going to make a semi-promise to people out there, probably a Patreon bonus to talk about Ballad of Songs and Snakes and maybe uh, just kind of Hunger Games in general. We'll be uh, chatting about that. That's one we're uh, looking forward to. You and I just watched the uh, first Hunger Games together just a couple weeks back to get ready for that. So that's been exciting. And we've got a couple of new ones uh, coming out this week that we're going to talk about here in just a minute. But uh, before we do that, Michaela, what we need to do is we need to whip up a cocktail that is worthy of the Thanksgiving holiday that's worthy uh, to put out on your table. Um, it's going to be a punch. And I thought that this would be perfect because I'm actually, you're going to be home for Thanksgiving. I'm traveling uh, to the Caribbean uh, myself to go get some beach time, to get some sunshine, and hopefully get some rum. And that's what you're going to be getting in this punch. So I found this recipe, Michaela. This comes from Southern Living, and this sounds amazing. Um, and it sounds amazing for no reason other than it has this apple cider, uh, simple syrup, that sounds heavenly and perfect for this time of year for basically anything you want to put in it. So listen to this. Uh, so everyone out there, go ahead and grab yourself a saucepan and put two cups of apple cider into that. Add one third of a cup of honey, 12 cloves, and four cinnamon sticks. Go ahead and uh, bring the temperature up on that until that honey has dissolved into that apple cider. Uh, let that steep for about 15 minutes. Uh, cool it down and then strain out your uh, your cloves and cinnamon sticks. Uh, put that into a sealable bottle, stick that in the fridge, and then basically use that syrup on everything. Uh, pancakes, waffles, cocktails, uh, this punch. What do you think about this syrup, Michaela? This sounds, yeah. sounds okay. <laughs> I'm, yeah, it, it sounds like it's real, real tasty. And uh, I'm very excited. I'm riveted by this because I, I'm going to make this for my Thanksgiving meal, perhaps. I'm just going to drink the whole punch bowl using this syrup <laughs> yeah that's what i'm gonna do uh, just just uh, just need a spoon and the syrup that's all you need for sure um but yeah to put this punch together then go ahead and take um take some of that syrup and we're going to to add the syrup into then uh four cups of cranberry juice uh six cups of apple cider uh three cups of spiced rum and then you're going to use some ginger beer uh, to give it some effervescence uh, there to, you know, fill out your punch bowl uh, there. You could probably use like a Sprite or 7-Up or something if you didn't want to use uh, ginger beer. But I like the ginger here with this apple goodness uh, quite a bit. So go ahead and mix that up into your punch bowl. That's going to be perfect for, for the day. And then, um, of course, you could skip the rum if you wanted to make this a little bit more kid-friendly. And then, you know, just dose in your own rum uh, kind of after the fact if you wanted something to uh, appease, you know, a wider audience. But I think that this... Uh, 
this punch recipe sounds sounds really good and it sounds very interesting um for this time of year because it hits kind of on fall flavors it hits kind of on like winter flavors like early mm -hmm. fall flavors it's kind of like the whole gamut of fall and that's really what you think of when you think of thanksgiving and all of these uh, flavors and foods coming together from your yeah. fall harvest season for sure i mean it's right before we get into like all the the reds and the berries and the champagnes and stuff of like the the year end kind of new year christmas you know all of that celebration mm -hmm. stuff right like this definitely is a nice lead into that because i feel like if you're gonna start doing all of that the holly berry stuff at thanksgiving that's too soon it's just a little too soon for me this though i mean yeah i'm real excited i'm excited i'm gonna serve this at my thanksgiving table i'll let you know how it goes Excellent. I look forward to uh, to seeing pictures of that. I'm going to be having my own uh, rum drinks. Like I said, I'm going to be on the beach, so I'll send uh, send you pictures of those. We can uh, compare and contrast who is more jealous of the other uh, there when we get to that. Um, but uh, what we are going to be looking forward to, Michaela, that is the uh, new releases coming out this week. We've got uh, three uh, pretty big ones, uh, pretty excited really about all of these, to be honest, and uh, probably have some big Oscar implications in these three releases we've got coming out. We've got the Disney animated film Wish coming our way. We've got the the uh, the war drama Ridley Scott's uh, epic Napoleon coming out, and we've got the holdovers, uh, which is getting a lot of buzz for one Paul Giamatti uh, here leading the way in this. This one looks really good. I'm really excited to see that. But wish Napoleon and the holdovers, Michaela. Uh, what do you think about these three? Any you're looking forward to more than the others, or what do you think? Um, so wish I I I feel like it's a sleeper in the sense that I've seen a little bit about it. Um, but then it, because I probably, because of the strike, I didn't see a lot, um, of, uh, buzz. Uh, I'm excited to see it. My son is really excited to see the animation. Uh, he saw the preview and he was like, I wonder how they did that. It looks so great. So we're going to, we're, I'm excited to check that out. Napoleon, uh, you and I were lucky enough to see kind of an extended preview, uh, of the, of one of the scenes from Napoleon and mm -hmm. I thought it was epically good. Now, Ridley Scott, he's very hit or miss. Um, I'm looking at you, the duel. Um, you know, there. this could either, this could go one of two ways, I feel like. It's either going to be epic and amazing and everyone's going to want to give it 57 Os Oscars or it's going to flop miserably. I don't know. I thought that the scene that they, they showed the preview of, the extended preview of, was amazing. I mean, it was so well put together. Um, it it gave me chills the way the Saving Private Ryan kind of uh, war mm -hmm. scene. Um, yeah, less super less visceral, graphic, but yeah. really beautifully done. Uh, and mm -hmm. so if it's more of that, then I think that it's it's going to be um, a, a showstopper and and definitely going to run the gamut of nominations for the Oscars. So I'm really excited. And also Joaquin Phoenix, I love you wherever you are. <laughs> I love yeah, you very for, much. Yeah, for sure. If, 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 if Napoleon hits, it's going to have big implications for the Oscars. And this year's Oscars are going to be absolutely uh, nutty. And uh, I was just thinking of uh, Wish here. The animated uh, category this year is going to be nuts, right? We have we have Wish. We have from earlier in the year. We have uh, Super Mario Brothers. We've got... Um, uh, what there was the elemental the the pixar film yep. there was the the ninja turtles uh film which is going to spider be coming out here on an episode later plus the spider verse yeah i mean it's going to be uh it's going to be like a like an absolute uh for lack of a better term bloodbath when it comes to uh this year's oscars i think for yeah. some of these uh some of these categories so it's going to be interesting to see how these shape up and what the nominees are as we get into that time for sure uh as far as the uh, the episodes go here, Michaela, last week we had our last volume of uh, Drink the Music here, our last kind of full volume of that as we transition our way back into movies. But we covered one of the all-time greats. That was Beach Boys Pet Sounds. That was really a uh, good conversation. Really happy with the way uh, that one came out. It's in a really nice way to put a pin in music for the time being. But that pin is going to be short-lived because, Michaela, this week we've got a bunch of stuff coming out for everyone. So, uh, like we said, Thanksgiving, uh, what better time than to release our own Barbenheimer into to the world so look for oppenheimer this week on the main episode look for our barbie uh patreon exclusive that's on patreon patreon.com slash drink the movies go there for bonus content like getting our take on barbie plus we have another music episode coming uh out for everyone that's going to be on black friday the day after thanksgiving we have our trim the trees special that's coming out we put together a playlist of uh, christmas tunes uh some holiday tunes some classics some modern uh standards some things you might not have ever heard before 
I don't know, go check that out. It was a really fun playlist to put together. And we'll put a link. There's a Spotify playlist so you can listen along at home while you're decorating your own uh, abode for uh, the Christmas season. So uh, check that out out there. We definitely appreciate that and uh, have a lot of uh, fun putting that one together. But Michaela Oppenheimer, I don't know if you even remember Oppenheimer. It was so long ago that we talked about it and, and recorded this episode. But um, I, I think it's it's going to be worth revisiting maybe i think it's out you can rent it now so uh people are having a chance to watch it again i think it's made its way back to some theaters a time or two here um so my mac screens have been uh showing it i know uh, our local theater showed it but uh do you remember oppenheimer uh was is oh, yeah. it still good in your head what do you think oh yeah it, it is still good i mean i i definitely think um Award season so interesting because you see the stuff that came out kind of early in the season kind of veer, veer its head against because it wants to get some more buzz and recognition. Um, and I think in this case, it's really warranted that whole week of, you know, where we had Barbie, which was also kind of a, a phenomenon in and of itself. And then Oppenheimer, which was a phenomenon historically, um, as well as kind of revisiting it and and <laughs> the turn of events of, of the world um, in, you know, I don't know, recent history. I, I I find that dichotomy really compelling. And so I'm really excited that we're finally going to be able to kind of show both sides to um, kind of the, the essence of movie making, right? Where you can do something that is uh, meaningful and um, really historically uh, significant, but also do something that is meaningful and like fun and, um, you know, kind of fantastical in the same space. Um, and have them mm. both be considered like works of art. So I'm excited that we're going to finally be able to to show that um, and have people kind of experience that with us. Absolutely. So uh, make sure you uh, are subscribed to the podcast channels. Uh, you can see that coming out uh, this week, as well as the uh, that uh, Trim the Tree special coming this week. So make sure you're subscribed, all that stuff. Let us know at home what you're looking forward to, uh, Wish, Napoleon, The Holdovers, or anything you've seen lately, because we're uh, back to talking about movies uh, here full bore. So pretty excited about that and pretty excited about this Thanksgiving rum punch, um, if I'm being completely honest. So let us know if you mix one of those up. Let us know uh, what you're mixing up for your own uh thanksgiving or holiday season if you have any favorite go-to cocktails let us know all that stuff thank you so much and we'll talk to you next week in the lobby bar